Okay, let us discuss this problem. This is an easy problem. This says a uniform rod of length L. So I have a uniform rod of length L performs a small oscillation about horizontal axis O A O O dash perpendicular to the rod and passing through one of its point. So something like this. We have a rod. and the length of the rod is L mass is not given so let us assume mass is M in the final answer I think mass has to be cancelled out now question says this performs a small oscillation about any point O and there is an axis this axis goes inside the plane of paper so this is OO dash axis so this is axis of oscillation basically that is going inside now question says find the distance between center of inertia of rod so let us say center of mass or of the rod is somewhere here so this is center of mass we have to find the distance between o o dash and center of mass so let us say this distance is h so that time period of us of oscillation is shortest so we have to find time period that is the minimum time so we have to find h for t should be minimum so what I should do uh, the plan will be something like this we have to find time period and then I have to differentiate with respect to h and then put it equals to 0 so this will be my plan now if you remember for any compound pendulum time period is given by this is a fairly easy problem t is equals to 2 pi under root i by mzd so this time period is given by if you remember this result you have to remember 2 pi under root i by mz d where d is the distance between center of mass and point of suspension so in this case t is 2 pi i so i about o o dash so let us write i about o o dash divided by mz and in this case d is basically h i o o dash this will be now I can use parallel axis theorem so moment of inertia about center of mass is m l square by 12 and then I have to add a term plus m h square so this is i o o dash now time period will be 2 pi i o o dash will be m let us take common so we will have l square by 12 plus h square this is i by m z h so m goes out so we will have time period is getting or not so 2 pi under root l square plus 12 h square and this divided by we will have 12 z h now I want t to be minimum so of course if t is minimum t square will also be minimum so why not I simply uh, put t square differentiation of t square so if t is minimum t square will also be minimum are you getting why I am doing this because differentiating t square will be easy so I think all of you can do this one so let us do this one and find the answer okay so if you follow the steps we will have t a square that will be 4 pi a square and this will be l a square plus 12 h a square divided by 12 z h are you getting now let us differentiate t a square so I can use the next page so this is t a square is 4 pi a square l a square if we want I can also divide so let us take 12 z common so we will have 12 z outside 
and you will have L square by H plus 12H square by H. So if I differentiate, so this is T square, T T square by D H. This is a constant, so it will remain as it is. 12Z. So this is a constant term. Now L square by H square, so this will be minus L square by H square, and this is simply 12H. So you will have 12. Are you getting? So if you put it equals to zero, so L square is equals to 12H. You will have. So h will be basically l square by 12. This is h square. So from here you can have h is equals to l and 2 root 3. So this is the distance between center of mass and the point of suspension. In that case, you will have time period will be minimum. Now question also asks what is the time in this in this case so you see so time is given by so let us pl <laughs> plug this value for t square so you will have 4 pi square by 12z plug the value of h so l square by h l square by l by 2 root 3 so 2 root 3 will go on the top plus 12 h 12 h so you will have plus 12 h is nothing but L by 2 root 3. Are you getting? So if you solve, so you will have T square is equal to 4 into 3. So you will have pi square by 3z. This LL goes out. So you will have a 2 root 3L plus 6. And this is 6. So 2 root 3. Are you getting? You cancel it out. So 6. 6 I can write 2 into 3 and 3 under root 3 goes so you will have 2 root 3 so this is basically 4 root 3 so you will have 4 root 3 L 4 root 3 L pi a square by 3 Z so this is T a square I can write T is equal to T a square is equal to 4 by root 3 pi a square L by Z so in that case T will be under root 4 by root 3 pi a square l by z so this will be the minimum time you will have for this system you can also write the same expression if i take 2 pi common so you will have 2 pi under root l by under root 3z are you getting so this is the minimum time period that is possible in this case so if you have a rod that is suspended through a point in the rod, you will get the minimum time period that is 2 pi L by root 3 into Z and this minimum time is possible when H is equals to L by 2 root 3. If you have a good memory then you can remember this result that the minimum time period possible for a rod when it is suspended through a point inside the rod the minimum time period will be possible if the distance between center of mass and point of suspension is this. If you remember then this is a very nice. Okay, let us go for the next problem. So you see, in this problem what we have done is, we have used the compound pendulum formula, time period will be 2 pi i, 2 pi under root i by mzd, this result you have to remember. Otherwise you have to prove this result, if you remember this fine. Now, Moment of inertia in this formula I is the moment of inertia about the point of suspension that is very very important. So you have to find moment of inertia about point of suspension and D is the distance between point of suspension and center of mass. In this case this distance is equal to H and then you just you have to find the minima condition that is the differentiation should be zero. If you want you can also prove the second differentiation, differentiation of this this comes out to be a uh, post uh, this is minimum so this comes out to be greater than zero so differentiate this once again and that case you have to prove that this comes out to be greater than zero because this is the minimum so time period so you have to basically do uh, you can prove this so you have time period expression for this is this time period 
so what you can do is you can prove yourself d2 d2 t by dh square for this to be minimum this has to be greater than 0 when h is equals to the res result that we have that is l by 2 root 3 so this should be greater than 0 when h is equals to l by 2 root 3 now let us do this yourself even if you want you can just take a break for 5 minutes and do this calculation and prove that this comes out to be greater than 0 I am not going to do this one so you have to do this one for yourself that is d2 t by dh square should be greater than 0 when h is equals to l by 2 root 3 because this is a minimum time period and time period will be minimum when the second differentiation of time period should be greater than 0 we'll discuss the next problem